Good morning and welcome to this beautiful fall day here on WKPN. I'm Emily. And I'm Emma. I love this time of year. Fall brings so many changes. Days get shorter and nights get longer. More sleep. Yay! The weather also begins to get cooler. Fall decorations like pumpkins, hay bales, and scarecrows begin to appear. Scarecrows? We have our very own scarecrow here at Wagner. Let's join her now. Uh-oh, you caught me, but please don't tell. I know, I'm supposed to be in your garden, shooing away those pesky birds. That's my job, but I'd rather be reading, expanding my new brain I got from the Wizard of Oz. Whiz kids, you can read oh so many books from your very own library. Isn't it great? Oh, look at this class. They're reading books about scarecrows. My family. I think I want to join this class. Forget that old garden. Reading is good for the brain. Our scarecrow is just adorable. Meet her cousins, Billy Bob and Betty Jo. Our scarecrow also loves to read. I wonder if she likes to eat a certain candy that tends to show up in the fall. Candy? Did you say candy? I love candy. Which type of candy are you talking about? Kylie will fill us in with the details. Nothing says Halloween is just around the corner than a full bag of candy corn. Candy corn is made up of sugar, honey, and corn syrup, making it the perfect fall treat. But wait! This delicious candy can be an educational tool, too. How, you ask? By making a prediction. WizKids, can you predict how many candy corns are in this bag? I think there's 401 candy corns. I think there's 259 candy corns. I think there is 100 candy corn in the bag. My prediction is 1,004 candy corns in the bag. I've counted each piece of candy corn in this bowl. Now for you whiz kids out in Wagner land that I did not get to ask, make your prediction now. There is 304 candy corns in this bowl. Now there's one less. I'm Kylie reporting for WKPN. My prediction was 125. I was way off. What about you? I was closer with 300. Hey Kylie, do you have any candy corn left? I have an idea. Let's check out the menus while we go see if there's any candy corn left. Great idea. On to the menus. Candy corn is not the only treat that comes around this time of year. Pumpkin pie and cinnamon sticks are some nice treats that I like to have during fall too. I wonder if any are on our lunch menus. Let's check. Ranch chicken drummies, corn, fresh veggie, fresh fruit, Italian bread, and milk. And tomorrow's fall festive breakfast shall be graham cookie, cheese stick, pancake wraps, fresh fruit or juice, and milk. I'm stuffing me that candy corn. It was so good. Don't you agree? Huh? 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 It was so tasty, yeah? I enjoyed it too, but maybe you're a little bit hyper from all that sugar. Me? Hyper? No way. I can handle a little bit of sugar. I'm fine. Being active is a good way to work off all that sugar from the candy. How about some exercise, like practicing throwing around the football? Football? I love football. My favorite team is the Knowles. What's yours? I like throwing the football. Fall is football season. Let's go hear a sports update from Caitlin. Perfect weather, colorful leaves, bonfires, comfy blankets, wearing hoodies, and of course, watching football. I love the fall. Now let's see who our favorite Florida teams play this weekend. Miami versus Duke at 7 o'clock p.m. The Bulls play Navy at 12 o'clock p.m. Florida State versus Syracuse at 12 o'clock p.m. And Florida Gators versus the Georgia Bulldogs at 3.30 p.m. There you have it, kids. I'm Nivee voting for the Knowles. 
That's one football game I'm going to be joining. I'm Caitlin reporting for WKPN. Whew! That was a good workout. Yes, you were beat out. I think you got rid of my hyperness. That's a good thing. Festivals and carnivals are other activities that take place during the fall. There is pumpkin festivals, harvest festivals, Halloween carnivals, and parties, just to name a few. One of our WizKid families took a road trip and had some fall fun. Let's get the details from Ashley. Can you smell fall in the air? I can. Today I'm at Stone Mountain's annual pumpkin festival. Stone Mountain's annual pumpkin festival is for fun for people of all ages. There's even a pumpkin patch where you can find your perfect pumpkin. You can also meet the famed story character, Spookly the Pumpkin. Fall festivals came about as a result of people wanting to celebrate the end of a hot season and the start of a fall harvest with plenty of ripe fruits and vegetables. Pumpkins are really squash. The largest pumpkin was 1,140 pounds. Wow, that is huge. Pumpkin pie eating contests are fun challenge for pumpkin lovers and often part of a fall festival. I found my perfect pumpkin. Maybe you can too. I'm reporting live from Stone Mountain, Georgia. I'm Asher reporting for WKPN. That was a cute pumpkin she found. Sounds like they had a fun time. Yes, I would have enjoyed the pie eating contest. Yum. Now let's go see what's happening around Wagner. Fourth and fifth grade parent education night is tonight at 6 p.m. AR Choice Shirt Day is tomorrow. We have raised $3,724.70 for our United Way campaign. Tomorrow is we put a cap on drug for Red Ribbon Week. Wear a school uniform and wear a cap. I have my cap ready to wear for tomorrow. What about you? Yes, I'm excited to wear mine. That's all the news for this beautiful fall day. I'm Emily. And I'm Emma. Happy fall, y'all. Bye.